So right here, our installation is complete. Uh, then we have to run php artisan vendor publish. Hit enter. So this particular one will help us publish a vendor. So while it's running, okay. Um, HTML service provider. So if you got the error, if your own uh, Laravel showed the error that mine just showed, you have to come back to your composer.json file and change all references to 5.5 to 5.6. So look at mine, I just changed these three. I changed this one from 5.5. I just replaced 5 here with 6. Same here and same here. So that it will start working with Laravel 5.6. Then you can come back and run Composer Update again. Type Composer Update. Hit Enter and it will start running. So once your Composer Update completes, then we can go back and run PSP Artisan Vendor Publish. And this time it will work. So this time you're going to see something exactly like this. Asking you um, a number of things you want to do. So you choose, you type 0. 0 will run for all of them. So I'll type 0 hit enter and um, we're done now the next thing we have to do is to get back to the website and uh, we are going to configure API route so we'll go to app providers route service provider and um, and update the API so just copy what we have here and then get here scroll down to scroll on um, to app then providers set the providers folder i hope you're seeing what i'm doing set the providers for the look for route service provider and then we have here i think this is it so just to be sure we're looking for this method map api routes that's it so we're just going to copy what is here delete it and paste what we got from the website so let me just adjust this. So basically we copied what was here and replaced it with whatever was here. Okay. Now um, the next step is customize configuration optional. So we're going to run this PHP uh, artisan infuriam publish. Now to do that we are going to go to our command prompt. So I understand that this setup has so many steps but eventually it's going to save you lots of time so now we've done it it has created some folders for us and um, we're good now the next step is to publish layout so we're going to run this and it will create a bootstrap based layout for us so to do that it's simple we come here I run this, hit enter, do you want to overwrite it? So it wants to overwrite our uh, app.blade.php, just overwrite everything, just type um, y, hit enter, Hard y again, hit enter, a number of files will be overwritten, just keep typing y, yes, overwrite, overwrite, yep, Alright, and we're good. So about five files were overwritten, and then we move to the next step. Um, yep. So here, um, I have to enable menu option. So we're gonna go here. It's enabled by default, but we just want to be sure that it's working. We'll go to config info and Laravel generator. So we get back to our source code. Go to config folder in POM, it has created this folder for us, Laravel generator. So we're looking for uh, who knows what we're looking for. We're looking for add-on. Under add-on, we're looking for menu app to be sure that it's enabled. So if we scroll up, we can see path. This is path, and this is namespace. This is table. So and uh, we're looking for add-on. Look at add-on. 
we have menu and you can see it's enabled okay makes sense <clears throat> all right um i think uh if you are going to document your apis you should probably enable um swagger if you set it to throw if you want to <clears throat> in my own case um i don't really need it so Swagger, in case you don't know what Swagger is, after you've written your API, let's say you're building Laravel for API, after you've written your API, Swagger will document the API for you to help you write a beautiful, beautiful API documentation that anybody can use. All right, so we're good. That's the only thing you need to change here. Just You don't need to change anything in this file. In my own case, I can just leave it to true. Your, yours can be false. There's no, it doesn't make any difference. It's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Now we all set. We're all set. So I think basically I should just change this to false, just to be on the safe side with you guys. All right, that's it. Everything works well now. So now everything has been set up. In the next video, we'll get to start actually generating HTML files from our database. So in the next video, we'll click on this. All right, and I'll see you guys.